Welcome to the Norwegian Encore cruise ship tour. I'm really excited to show you this entire ship from the top down. And we're going to start on deck 19 with a great view of the pool and the Vibe Beach Club. Deck 18 also has a small sun deck and a great view of the ocean. And deck 17 is a sun deck with a jogging track that surrounds the pool. There are four hot tubs on this level, two on this side and two on the other side. Back of the ship, you're gonna find a lot of fun with the go-karts and the laser tag. These go-karts can go up to 30 miles per hour and they do have dual go-karts and single go-karts. Your score is based on your lap speed so you can race your buddies. Even if you don't end up passing them, you might win. And this looks like a really fun laser tag course with lots of detail. And just inside on deck 17 is the virtual arcade. Lots of fun games, racing and flying and balancing games. You're guaranteed to have a great time up here. There is something for everybody. Right inside next to the Galaxy Pavilion is Le Bistro, which is their French restaurant. Just outside on deck 17, you'll find the American Diner. And this is an a la carte restaurant. And the slides. We're gonna head down to deck 16, which is the pool deck. There are two bars on this deck. And of course, there is a kid's pool and an adult pool, and also the splash zone for the kids. And of course, they have a stage right by the pool deck. It's great for sail away or for the 80s party or the girl party. It's a really fun time, convenient to all the bars and the excitement on this pool deck. Heading inside on deck 16, we're gonna find the Spa and Fitness Center. Plenty big, lots of things to do. Let's check it out. They also have a spa and salon and barber shop. They do have a thermal pool and multiple different types of sauna rooms, which is amazing. So yeah, it looks great up here, great chairs and a great view. Also on deck 16 is the Garden Cafe, and this is the buffet. There's a lot of different stations, so you don't often see a lot of lines. It's usually maybe one or two people in front of you, but they're pods. So you just get up, you can grab your plate or your bowl, grab whatever you need. They also have a bar that has fresh juice for a charge and a lot of great seating. end of the garden cafe it overlooks the observation lounge with those huge amazing windows and that's where we're headed next and deck 15 is the observation lounge this is an amazing place an amazing space to hang out huge floor-to-ceiling windows and chairs and couches like you would not believe 
I have never had any problem finding a spot to sit and it's very quiet. You can read a book, people I see taking naps, and just visiting or playing card games and games with their friends. I'm gonna walk you around this whole entire place. They do have snacks, which is great, so that changes throughout the day. It really is one of my favorite places to hang out. You can kind of tell they have a variety of seating and it's very comfortable. At the very end is the front of the ship and they have massive, massive two-story windows and they have a piano and a bar. Next up is Food Republic, and this is an a la carte restaurant with a fusion menu of sushi and variety of small plates. It's a great little spot to have lunch and has a great view. We're gonna head outside on deck eight. This is the waterfront, and this is one of my absolute favorite places to come hang out. There are tons of different chairs, variety of little pods you can visit and sit and watch the ocean read a book, take a little nap. They do have a bunch of bars and restaurants with outdoor seating all underneath this cover. So we're gonna take a look. We're gonna walk down the waterfront. And first up is Ocean Blue, seating for high-end seafood. And by the end of your cruise, you'll be an expert at waterfronting with these couches and chairs and this amazing view. There's also a bake shop with gelato. It is delicious. They have some really good things for a small cost. And past the snack shop is Los Lobos Outdoor Seating. The waterfront goes all the way around the back of the ship, and that is an amazing view. And check out the floor here. You can step on the floor and there's water moving. It's a little freaky sometimes, but it's still fun. Around the other side is Cagney's Steakhouse Outdoor Seating. And also Megapod and multiple other types of seating. And here we have Sugar Cane's Mojito Bar. They actually do have servers that come out and serve you, so it's a lot of fun. And they have Onda by Scarpetta. This is the outdoor seating for the high-end Italian restaurant. 
and inside on deck eight all the way around is the district brew house this place is so much fun they have karaoke they have musicians and of course a large bar with huge windows i love those windows it's awesome Inside on deck eight, we're gonna take a walk all the way through. So you're gonna see these restaurants on the, the indoor seating and it is lovely, it's beautiful. They also do have some really great windows and it's just light and bright. We also have Cellars Wine Bar. This is a fun little spot. They do have wine tastings here and I just like the look of it. And right across is the Cavern Club. This is where they will do little like Beatles bands or different types of bands. And also they do events like here they have canvas painting, but it's actually a really fun space. Right next to the Cavern Club is Malting's Whiskey Bar. And this is a fun, intimate little spot with cozy little couches and chairs. Going towards the outdoor waterfront, you'll see Humidor Cigar Lounge. And you actually have to access it from the outside door on the waterfront. Right. And in the middle of the ship, you're going to find this beautiful rotunda with the chandelier and it's right next to Sugar Cane Mojito Bar, which is a fun little spot. They have really good mojito drinks, all different kinds. Even if you're not liking a standard mojito, they have a variety on their entire menu. And Deck 8 has all the shops for the jewelry, watches, perfume, and makeup. And there's also Ocean Blue, which is the high-end seafood place. And even more shops. So you're gonna find anything and everything that you need in this little area on deck eight. At the very end of Deck 8, in the back, is the A-list bar. And on one side, we have Cagney Steakhouse. And on the other side, we have Los Lobos. All right, we're moving down to deck seven and at the very back of the ship is the Manhattan main dining room. It's really, really beautiful. They have some pretty chandeliers and all kinds of white tablecloths and chairs. It's very fancy. Coming from the main dining room, we are gonna hit the casino on deck seven and it has a lot of different machines. They do have a Skyline video poker bar, which is a lot of fun. Half the casino is smoke free and there is a smoking section behind this glass door with slots and table games.
just past the casino is the local bar and grill. They have a fun little bar with a lot of different seating. You can order food for free. It's open 24 hours and you can choose to sit around the atrium on the chairs with the table or you can sit on a high table or you can sit at low tables at the actual grill. And it's all free, 100%, and they have a really good menu. They also have a small arcade room right next to the local. Next up is the theater on deck seven. And it isn't the largest theater that I've seen on a cruise ship, but it is sufficient. You can also go outside on deck seven to get close to the ocean. It isn't nice like deck eight, but you can still feel a breeze and watch the waves. And we're heading down to deck six. First up is Q, the Texas Smokehouse. This bar and restaurant has a fun little vibe. It's country feeling, so you're gonna have country bands that come and play, but you get your barbecue food, and they do have a bar in here as well. And next up is the atrium on deck six. There's a lot of things that happen here. They have the shore excursions and guest services. They also have Starbucks and um, check-in for different restaurants if you wanna make reservations. And there's also the atrium bar. And the atrium is usually very busy at night because they hold all the main events here. It is a really great space. I wish it was bigger because it's super popular. There's also the Internet Cafe. And they do have a card room, which is kind of the library. Right next to the atrium is the main rotunda with the beautiful stairs. To the right, you're gonna find the social, which is the nightclub, and they also hold other events like comedy and art auction. And across from the comedy club is Coco's, which is a delicious, yummy place to come get some ice cream and chocolates and things like that. And we also have teppanyaki right next to Coco's. And down Art Lane, you're gonna find Mix Bar. This is a fun bar between two dining rooms, the main dining room saver, and taste. They're identical dining rooms, they're just on opposite sides of the ship. And we're gonna head down to deck five, which is where you're gonna find all the teen and kids clubs. There's an arcade and of course the teen lounge, and I couldn't get into the kids clubs as they were checking families in, but they're all in one little spot, it's super convenient. And lastly, here's a look at an interior cabin. 
As you can tell, it's really nicely decorated, but it is small. It, I found the storage to be very lacking, but it's a very clean space. Of course, this, this is a brand new ship and I liked it just because of that. So enjoy. And that will do it for my tour of the Norwegian Encore. I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you soon.